Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, and uh, Taurus rising weekly tarot reading for June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump straight away into spread. All right, so the first card which represents Taurus uh, topic of the week, that is going to be the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> followed by the second card which stands for the challenges uh, of Taurus this week. Here we do have the Two of Swords. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of Taurus this week, that is going to be the Sun card. And then the last one, which uh, stands for the guidance the Tarot has for you guys, that will be the uh, Ace of uh, Pentacles. All right, so once again, uh, we do have the Ten of Wands, which stands for the topic, followed by the Two of Swords, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, it is the Sun card, which is the positive aspect of your week. And then the last one that we have, that is to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles, and that is to be the Guidance. All right, so Taurus, this is going to be a very productive week for what it seems, <clears throat> either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. It does depend where it takes place, you know, <clears throat> but the week itself is going to be very as well time consuming. That is due to the fact that you are to arrange a lot of stuff in there. Um, also, it is because the situation itself, it will require... Um, quite of a devotion as well. That is uh, due to the fact that we do have the Ten of uh, Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. A Ten of Wands sitting as a, a topic and the Ace of Pentacles sitting as well as a, um, a guidance. And this uh, synchronization, if I may say, in between these couple of cards, uh, gives the Ten of Wands that kind of a, um, I would say, meaning, right, or expression. The Ten of Wands appears as an um, awesome opportunity, but in the same time, it is in an opportunity that requires a lot of work in order to be developed and in order for you to fit into it because it's an opportunity that is already established. Like you get invited into a certain community, for example, or you get proposed with something, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's something that it is already developed. And the whole thing here, Taurus, is that you need to fit in so you have to work out the criteria you have to work out the rules as well and you have to basically follow the the, the scheme if i may express myself that way that is described here with the ten uh, of wands where you're gonna have a lot of things to do some of those things could appear a lot as a um as a burden um to you as because the uh, the enterprise itself either being with someone you know or get involved into a project in career or just finding a, a new job it's going to be like i said quite time consuming and as well the exhilarating activities in it are going to be accompanied also with chores so you cannot have everything that 
you kind of do things which are only exciting, but you are going to have responsibilities from the both sides of, uh, of the scales. The accompanied card here that is going to be the hangman formation. It is a active enemies that we have. And uh, this uh, specific formation points that finally things for you are starting to stir. Okay, You are no, no longer going to be in a uh, state of limbo where, for example, the, um, the daily routine, it is just as it is and there is nothing exciting happening nor an opportunity present itself, you know, nor a deterioration. It is a, um, it is a in, in presence, excuse me. And you sit on, I don't know how to describe it really, guys, but you sit just on a um, established patterns, okay? And nothing is happening of those uh, established, exta not established patterns but now this week june 17 to june uh 23rd like i said is going to present you with a this awesome opportunity for you to stir your things and to uh, start doing things which are meaningful i'm not saying that until this very moment you haven't done anything mean meaningful you know but this time around you actually will have a uh, something to fight for you know a, a, a fulcrum that you can develop further now the uh, challenges that you have to um, overcome here this is the two of swords and when i look at the cards and i saw the two of swords uh, in this position what immediately jumped into my mind was taking a side that will be the challenge for you to take a side to decide um you know how you are to fit and how you are to stand into this endeavor or an enterprise but before you do so it will be very important to be quite objective in regards to the uh to the situation itself because before you decide how you should proceed on forward with this stirring of your situation you need to consider um all points of view because the whole thing is gonna be uh, like um coin with uh, with its two sides i don't know how to describe it really so i will try to give you an example here let's say that um, a certain process is start moving into your um into your company okay or it start um, being implicated into your company and uh, a two camps are starting to form what is that supports the this transition and the other one that it, it, it doesn't support that transition so you need to take a side here which camp you are to uh, you are to uh, associate yourself with either of those things are going to present you with quite a lot of benefits and as well will uh, demand from you quite a lot of devotion but before you decide which camp you are to sign for, uh, it will be important to analyze both of the camps and decide which one is going to suit you best. So that will take a little bit of time, at least at the start of the week. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the two of ones. So uh, formation, it is a uh, active, uh, active friends. And the two of ones here to the two of swords, it speaks that it will be difficult for you to decide because both of the camps are going to be very similar or both of the sides that you are to take are going to be very, very similar. And it will be difficult for you to uh, scope, if I may use that term, uh, which one of those enterprises will allow you to unfold better you know your skills uh your knowledge or your happiness that is because the whole thing it could be that you have two suitors both are very very similar you have similar emotions for these uh, two suitors of yours and uh, you are it, it is very difficult for you to decide you know which one you are to associate yourself with but you gotta choose a side the same thing could be happen uh, could be said for example was now is summer everybody is going on a vacation so you and your husband are trying to decide where to go you have two destinations both equally um, awesome you know and you have a difficulty to decide which one of them you are to uh, you are to take but you have to make a decision throughout this week and you need to start your preparations for it. By judging of these cards, uh, there is no right or wrong decision here. It is just, you know, 
the one that makes you more comfortable is going to be the one that you should uh, decide in uh, favor of. It's very difficult to describe, but the, the whole point, guys, is that you need to uh, break the, uh, uh, the, the equilibrium, okay? that you are uh, that it is in presence of your uh, daily routine that does not allow anything exciting to happen and it, it's blocking the stir of uh, of your life and of your um enterprises the next card that we have it is the positive aspect of your week and that is going to be the sun card so the week is going to be very uh, exhilarating you know full of these energies of growth energies of expand uh, you are going to feel uh, how can i describe it um with um, is the word vitality it's like being very uh, initiative okay it's kind of like being very active we have in my language we do have a certain word for that i don't know if the word is is vitality in english because vitality usually it's uh, it's associated with uh, how healthy you know or how fit you are to do certain things but i don't know if if it relates to how active you can be but yeah these kind of energies are gonna um swarm around you and uh, they're gonna swarm your life and uh, simply you are to feel very um energetic and as well um it's kind of like the word the world is brought down into your uh into your knees and it's very likely that you will want to capitalize on that activity with the ten uh with the ten of wands here this uh devotion you know and this uh, awesome opportunity to create something good and to increase for example your monetary success uh to uh secure the positions which are suitor for example or to secure your marriage in one way or another but as well the sun card it is a about peace and should you have any problems either in re either into your career or either into your relationship with certain either colleague or a um, uh, or your husband or your wife that is <clears throat> uh, with the sun card it is very likely that you are to bury down the hatchets of uh, of war and you are to reach a, a mutual agreement through which you both are going to end up happy the accompanied card here that is to be the four of uh, swords formation it is a active friends that we have and the four of swords additionally points that um how can i describe it this thing is going to be long lasting what i mean is that this uh, state of happiness this state of uh, expanding energies of uh, growth vitality as well and um, i would say as well as well youthfulness are going to be like i said long lasting and they are to proceed further into the future accompanying you through the whole endeavor that you are to uh, to take under uh, under your wing additionally to that whatever which whichever you um, make a peace with is going to become a, a very faithful companion of yours someone that you can definitely a, rely on and the final card that we have for you Taurus it's going to be uh, the uh, guidance the tarot has for you guys that is the um, ace of pentacles so this opportunity like i said uh with the ten of wands as it correlates very well with the with the ace of pentacles is going to be a rare opportunity to further your goal additionally to that the more you proceed forward with it for example you choose one of these two suitors and the more devoted you are with that suitor of yours as you are now into relationship the more you work for that relationship the more content and uh, uh, the more happiness this relationship is going to give you so it's something that is going to repay off double time uh, to you as you put a devotion and effort into it additionally to that the ace of pentacles here as a, a guidance points that you should uh, aim to establish a, a harmonious flow into your relationship and if you are striving for money and uh, career development that card points that that is the week where you establish successful business endeavor and in general success into one business the accompanied card here that is to be the high priestess so um the formation it is a passive friends that we have and the high priestess to the um, ace of pentacles 
is also a confirmation that this uh, awesome energies of development, growth, you know, harmonious relationships, success into a business is going to be a, a long term thing. And uh, as long, however, as you do have the attitude to devote yourself into it, because the high priestess is also about devotion. It is a, about doing what is necessary uh, for the thing to develop without trying to strive into or diverse yourself into a, a different enterprises. So it's very important throughout the week not to scamper around and not just on only throughout the week, but going further into the future as well to scamper around to seek different opportunities, but just focus on one specific. Straight away, giving you an example here, if we are following this one with uh, the vacation, all right, so you have a couple of destination at the start of the week and at the midweek you decide which destination you're going to go. So start preparing for it. Stop researching for a additional um, for a additional ones, because it seems that the destination that you're going to choose, for example, is going to charge you with the uh, very vital energies you know it's going to make you very happy the experience is going to be extraordinary you're going to be very happy for uh from the whole vacation period of time and uh yeah it's it, it simply is going to be a, a very uh, how can i place it positive experience for you but yeah as soon as you decide what you want to do from now on and uh, stir your environment uh stop seeking a additional opportunity but rather devote yourself fully into uh, this endeavor. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading for a um, June 17th, to June 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.